All right, so what we have here is a Lenovo ThinkPad T430. Uh, this is one I picked up off of eBay, and uh, it had a broken motherboard, so I replaced the motherboard. Uh, but now I need to sell it. And the problem is, starting with the ThinkPad T430 series, they began to, Lenovo began to whitelist third-party batteries. So I have two batteries here. This is a genuine Lenovo battery. And this is a third-party aftermarket battery. There's really no difference between them, and sometimes they're even made in the same factory. Uh, but because of safety reasons or whatever, uh, starting with the T430 X230 series of laptops, Lenovo began to whitelist third-party batteries. So if I put this third-party battery in, and start to boot the computer. So for some reason it didn't bring up the error message, but basically what will happen is you will put this battery into your computer, and you will turn it on, and it will say, this battery is not authorized to be used with this system, and will not charge. Press escape to continue. And here on the Windows desktop, you can see it's a dead battery, so there's 0%, and it's not charging. And no matter what you do, it's not going to charge. And then, meanwhile, if I put in the genuine Lenovo battery, it's, it's not charging because the battery is fully charged but it would charge anyway. So, Lenovo blocks third-party batteries from being able to charge. Uh, the computer will still run while they're inserted, and if the battery is charged, they will discharge while in the computer. Uh, you just cannot charge them back up, which is really annoying, um, because these batteries will work with the T410 and T420, because it's the same battery, but not the T430. And, uh, yeah, some people are like, oh, there's safety concerns with these aftermarket batteries. Uh, they could blow up in your computer, that sort of thing. Well, you, if you guys know me, I'm one that throws caution to the wind. And I have used many of these aftermarket batteries and laptops for years. And I've never had any of them overheat or explode or expand on me. And they all hold a battery charge that is pretty close to that of the original battery. So we are going to be performing a BIOS mod on this computer that will remove the whitelist on these batteries. This uses the same set of files that is used to do the 7-row keyboard mod on the third generation ThinkPad laptops. So that's how I have this classic keyboard working in an X230 uh, with all the function keys working properly. So like if I hit function page up, the think light comes on instead of function space like it's on the T430 layout. So, we're going to boot into good old Linux and do this mod. For this mod to work, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need a flash drive with Linux on it, or if you have it installed on a computer, that's even better. And then you're also going to need a flash drive, or if you want to be old-fashioned, a CD to install the modified BIOS file to. You are also going to need a working, genuine Lenovo battery of some type. It doesn't have to be brand new, but as long as it can hold somewhat of a charge, it should be good for this mod. Alright, so we have our README loaded and the uh, terminal loaded. So, the easy thing to, way to do things is to just copy and paste. Oh. Whoops. Gotta do sudo first. There we go. So it's going to install some uh, packages that will allow us to build this modified BIOS file. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention is that uh, before you can install these modified the modified BIOS, you have to update the BIOS on the computer to the newest version. Like, this laptop, when I got it, it had a BIOS that dated back to 2012. That just ain't gonna work, so... Uh, 
I installed the newest BIOS available from Lenovo before I went and did this. So, now we're just waiting for it to install some of these packages, and then I will get back to you. Okay, our update just finished. So now we are going to install a clone of the Hamish Coleman zip file. So we just put that here. So it's making a clone. And now we're going to go into the ThinkPad embedded controller directory. So cd ThinkPad oops underscore ec. No, dash ec. There we go. And at this point, what we're going to do, I'm actually going to show you this as it's happening. So, there's our ThinkPad embedded controller file on the desktop. I'm going to go to T430. And you're going to see this BIOS patch. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm not installing the 7 row keyboard patch on this keyboard because, uh, well, we're not going to be installing a classic keyboard on this. I'm selling this to someone. But we are going to install the battery patch. So we're going to, we have this other page called config text. It's in the documents folder. So we're going to do make patch disable keyboard clean. And that turns off the keyboard patch. So we do that. And then, if we go to our thing, you can see the patches are all off now. And then we're going to go to make patch enable battery clean. And we're going to put that in. And let's Oops. Let's put our file over here so we can actually read it. So watch this. I'm going to hit enter. And the battery validate patch turns on. So now, the next thing we're going to do is uh, make patched.t430 dot img and this is very important that you use the right computer because like I said in my x230 video if you use the wrong computer model here or if you make a BIOS a modded BIOS put it on a flash drive and then use it with a different model computer you will uh, brick the computer, which I did to an X230 once. So it's very important that you make sure you're using the correct BIOS for the correct model. So this is a T430, so we're using a T430 BIOS. If we used a different BIOS, then we would have issues. Even if it's a T40S, P430, T430S BIOS, then we would still have issues because there are differences in the BIOS for those two computers. Okay, so if it says your build has been completed with the following details and it shows this patch, then you should be good to go. So now, uh, type in lsblk, and it will show you all of the drives. So we're going to be copying it to a 16 gigabyte flash drive, so that's the, six, that's the 15G SDC. So we are going to, I'm just going to copy this uh, command and change it. So we're going to do sudo dd if equals patched, oops, if equals patched t430.img of equals dev, and then this is sdc, and so sdc. 16 gigabytes, there we go, hit enter, so just do this for a few seconds. This part is also important because if you put the wrong drive in, you could overwrite the hard drive in the computer, 
or your flash drive that Linux is on. But this is ready now. So in theory, we can restart the computer and it will work. All right, so as long as you have your genuine battery charged and in the computer, a power connection plugged in, and your modified BIOS file on a flash drive or CD, make sure the computer's off, pop it in, turn the computer on and begin hitting F12. There we go. Wait for it to load. We're going to go to USB hard drive. It's going to start up PC DOS. Make sure it's the correct BIOS. So this is the T430. And then we're doing the battery validate patch. Now there's no turning back. So it's going to flash this BIOS onto the computer. It'll take a few seconds. And now it's going to reboot and install our modified BIOS. If you see this, then you know it's working right. And now it's the moment of truth. We'll see if we brick the computer or not. And we didn't. So now, just to test this, We are going to take out our genuine Lenovo battery and put in the third-party replacement. Now let's start it up again. And this time, if we did this correctly, we should see it charging once we get into Windows. So it didn't complain about it being a third-party battery. And uh, let's just see what happens once Windows is loaded here. Okay. Plugged in and charging. That is a good sign. Can't really see it there. There you go. Plugged in and charging. So, yep, two hours and 33 minutes until fully charged. So that is how you can install aftermarket batteries in a ThinkPad X230, T430, T430S, T530, W530, or X230 tablet. Any of those computers, you can install this mod on, and it will allow you to use third-party batteries. And you can also use the same... A set of files to install the seven row keyboard in this series of ThinkPads. So now, instead of going on Lenovo's website and spending $150 on a genuine replacement battery, you can just get a cheap one for 30 bucks off eBay or Amazon, pop it in, it'll work just the same, just won't have Lenovo's name on it. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.